Hi! Welcome to I Question PH. The today's question is How do the stomach and the intestines work together during food digestion? The moment we consume food, our digestive tract begins an involuntary process. Saliva begins the breakdown of food as you chew it in your mouth. Then it is pushed down through your esophagus to undergo complete digestion in your stomach and intestines. The human stomach is located in the upper left side of the belly. It acts as a temporary storage of food that is being digested. The walls of the stomach release gastric juice to partly break down the food. Gastric juices also help kill bacteria that might be in the eaten food. The rest of the food is broken down through a squeezing movement of the stomach called peristalsis. The food is then converted into a soupy mixture called chyme and pushed to the small intestine. The small intestine is a long, narrow, folded or coiled tube connected to the stomach. The small intestine breaks down the food mixture even more so your body can absorb all the nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Accessory organs like the liver, pancreas, and gallbladder helps the small intestine break down these nutrients. The liver produces bile that helps absorb fats into the bloodstream. The pancreas produces pancreatic juice that help the body digest fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. And the gallbladder serves as a warehouse for bile storing it until the body needs it. Digested food in the small intestine is absorbed by the blood, which carries it to the different parts of the body. When the blood circulates, the nutrients are brought to the different parts of the body. They are absorbed and used as sources of energy for growth and repair. The small intestine does not digest all the food. Vegetable fibers and seeds, for example, cannot be digested, so they go to the large intestine as waste. In the large intestine, Water is absorbed from the remaining undigested food. The dry mass is then squeezed into bundles of waste. These wastes, such as undigested fats, proteins, and some dead bacteria, become the feces. It is pushed by the muscles of the rectum at the end of the large intestine and is eliminated through the anus. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.